you guys are from Springfield. <laughs> yeah. Do you well, like area? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, do you like The Simpsons? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. I think they picked Springfield for The Simpsons because it's there's, a lot of them. there's so many of them in the United States. I think there's like you know 19 or 20 different Springfields in all different states, so it was the most generic city name for them to use. But there is uh, Matt Groening is from that area though. Oh really? Yeah, he's from Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. uh, well, a lot of rock bands have been in The Simpsons, like Corn or. Whoever, any plans? Nobody's called us. <laughs> They should. Well, would we do that? You would do that? Yeah, why not? All right. I'd rather do the family guy. <laughs> Coming back to Springfield, since you're all pretty much from the same area, how about your families and, and friends? Was there any difference over the years? I mean, do you still love to play Springfield? No. That's one of our my least favorite, at least to play. It, it's it's ridiculous when we play anywhere near home. Yeah, like every the person, guest list is ridiculous. every person that that in their own mind and in their circles calls you their best friend, yeah. all of a sudden now wants tickets and and you know backstage is just a free for all it's ridiculous i've heard stories about my band members even about myself that i was just like where do you hear this stuff man it's like it's so not even close to true it's you like, know i mean you just hear these stories there's people just folklore talk and they just what folklore yeah basically <laughs> bullshit bs <laughs> you guys have sold millions of records but like your debut was sold about four thousand copies back then Did you have any doubts then? You know, I don't think I ever gave it any thought. I, you know, I just kind of held on for dear life and and just waited to see where the ride was going to take us. So uh, there was never a thought like, oh, damn it, if we sell 4,000 from every record, that's fine with us, you know, pays the rent. Yeah. Yeah, I that's mean that was rent, we were yeah. <laughs> we were we were just kind of en enjoying what was going on, you know. Um, fourth, we were we were quite happy with four thousand records our first week when nobody had any idea as to who we were. That was that was perfectly okay with us. What's so special about your Gibson Les Paul? Well, which one? Your favorite one. Um, my favorite one. What's so special about it? It sounds better than any other Les Paul I've ever put it up against in a recording situation. It's a 1968 gold top that has 1959 PAF humbucker pickups in it. And it's basically a poor man's 59. And it just sounds, it goes to 11. Cool. It goes to 11. <laughs> How many guitars do you have? A lot. <laughs> I, I have a lot of guitars. That's still trying to get him to give me one. Not as much as Eddie Van Halen. No, <laughs> you know, not nothing like that. I haven't. I haven't really. I didn't even own a guitar. I didn't own an electric guitar until 14 Shades of Grey. Before that, all I ever had was an acoustic. <laughs>